Welcome back. I'm Sammy Chimunahihi Aliubi from the Eagle One Development Team. This is Crash Course 38. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of decoration to this area uh, with a few techniques that we're going to add uh, using some physics simulations. Uh, to add some uh, physics simulations uh, that are going to help us out here, first of all, we've got a canal here and it's, it's kind of empty. Uh, so let's go ahead and fill it in with some things. Uh, I want to add some uh, items that's going to make it look like it's under construction, perhaps. So let's uh, type in pipe. Uh, concrete 01. Perfect. Now, uh, I want to make it look like uh, this place had some construction going on. I want to make it look natural. Uh, so uh, I can go ahead and I can put a pipe and I can try to drag it. Okay, there's a couple of ways that I can do this. You know, if, if, if you sit here, uh, one way is to try to eye it with the ground and match it up. And if you do this, you're going to have to lower the grid and then it's taking forever. And then you're noticing, oh, it's a little bit in the ground. Maybe you don't want it in the ground. Um, there's a quick way that you can do this. Okay, you can take anything. Um, and if you press control number pad one, it's automatically going to smash it up to the ground. So I could go ahead and do this. I could just, you know, make a bunch of copies and, uh, you know, go in the air. And one way is, you know, I can rotate this and then I could, ro you know, hold down shift, make a copy, rotate this and select all of these. And I can press uh, control one, right? And then they'll smash them to the ground and, and you'll see that there's still some of them, you know, going through. Maybe this is what you intended and perfect. Uh, but perhaps you want to do something that's a little bit more realistic. All right, maybe you wanted to, to go ahead and have these look like they fell down the hill. So we can go ahead and, and we can actually simulate this. Uh, select an object, any object, okay, and you can press Shift C. Okay, and what this does is it's entering simulation mode. Now, go ahead and you can press space to simulate it and look what it's going to do. It's going to go ahead and simulate it and when you're done, press space. And you can do it with multiple objects too. Okay, select multiple objects, press shift C, space, same thing. And at any point you can stop the simulation and it'll freeze. Uh, you can go a step above, you know, you can, uh, let's uh, bring this up. So press shift S to get out of uh, simulation mode or uh, uh, escape it. Uh, now I'm going to just drag this up. I'm going to uh, go back into simulation mode. I'm going to place a pin right here. Now I'm going to start the simulation. You can have it swinging from a pin. Okay, uh, that's something that you can go ahead and work with. Uh, so uh, all of this now uh, is starting to look like uh, we had some construction going on. Uh, the other way that uh, it becomes fun is uh, you can start to you can start to eat stuff as well. So if I want to start grabbing stuff and eating it, ooh, this one went flying. Oh, there it went. Maybe that's not what you want. Uh, that's fine. Uh, pretty much uh, anything that has a, a collision, uh, you can go ahead and do. So I'm going to just throw that in there. Okay, let's throw this in there. All right, let's same same with this one. Let's go ahead and throw this. Oh, this one's stuck. There we go. It's got a pin. That's <laughs> uh, not what we want. Uh, that's fine. You know, I actually kind of like this one. So uh, we'll get rid of this. That's actually too much. And we'll just put that into the canal as well. All right, so we've got some uh, objects down here. Uh, we can uh, do some other cloth simulations. Let's actually uh, uh, change the texture of this right now, just because this is a block light. So we're just seeing that block light just uh, to make it look like it has some solidness to there. Okay, because we're not, now we're going to assume the player can come up here and actually see down and before they couldn't. So later we'll change everything. And speaking of which, you know, all of this Viz stuff right here, it is blocking the light. If you want to get rid of this, and if you want to get rid of this skybox just for now, that's fine. Get rid of it. It, it doesn't apply because we've completely expanded everything. Um, so uh, we can later, we'll go back and we'll seal this up later. Yeah, I'm going to have a, a follow-up Viz tutorial uh, that's going to help you. And you see this block that we've moved that, so it's going to create some shadows. You can see those shadows being cast right here. Uh, we don't want that, so press delete and get rid of them as well. Okay, and uh, we'll leave this here for now because like I said we'll, we'll just go back and we'll texture it later because um, uh, we're going to finish up the building. Uh, but this is going to work for now and you can't see the side, uh, so that's okay. All right, uh, we've simulated objects. Uh, now let's simulate something else. This is a fun one. Uh, let's say I don't really like this gap or, or I just want to put something on this gap. All right, uh, let's go ahead here yeah, and we're just going to type in a prop static. And we're just going to put in a prop static and we're just going to click on it right here. Okay, now it's going to put in a, a cube. That's fine. Press Alt Enter. 
And under world model, we're going to search uh, for tarp. Okay, now it's this cloth underscore tarp three mesh. Okay, go ahead and exit. Now, here's how this mesh works. This is an object. So under object mode, let's go ahead and raise it up. And this also works under simulation. So let's go ahead and press shift C, press space, and stop. Okay, this is going to allow us to simulate cloth. Now, now we can go ahead and we can make it bigger. So right here, go into object mode and go ahead and, and, and drag it out. You know, if, if you want to make sure that uh, you have something that can simulate something longer. And now sometimes the simulations are, are tough with some of the collision holes. So you're just going to have to find, you know, exactly where it works. Uh, but this really allows it to, to make it easy. You can resize things, you know, come over here, shift C place it as well okay so it's up to you where you want to place this but let's find one spot uh, i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to drape it over here okay so we'll just go ahead and we'll simulate that and uh, ooh, that one turned out pretty good so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to leave that now what we have is simulation of this plot now we can change it up okay in its properties uh, under render properties you can override the material Okay, let's search for something. Uh, let's look up a rug. Why not? We put up a rug. Let's see how some of these rugs load. All right, so some of these aren't wanting to load right now. That's fine. We've got uh, this one. You can go ahead and double click it just for now. Okay, we'll have a, a part of a rug. Here we go. I'm sure you can find something else that'll make a little bit more sense. But yeah, from this angle, okay, I can see that rug hanging off gives it a little bit more of an organic feel. All right, so go ahead and play around with it. You've got a, a cloth and uh, object physics simulations that you can use to your advantage uh, to help make this environment look much more organic. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, have some fun decorating your level. Uh, we'll continue, don't worry, to build into the skybox after our basics from last time. There's a lot more to get into in our immediate, intermediate and our advanced tutorials that are soon coming up.